And um, my name is Angelica Linder. I'm the outreach coordinator at the Northfield Public Library. Um, soy la coordinadora de enlaces de la Biblioteca Pública de Northfield. Eh, muchas gracias por estar aquí en esta, en esta tarde. Thanks for being here this afternoon. Um, I'm proud to serve you as your host and in this celebration. And uh, first of all, I want to say thank you to our sponsors. Um, this celebration is made possible in part by grant funds from the Southern Minnesota Arts Council, CMAC, and support of the Friends and Foundation of the Library, Northfield Public Library, the city of Northfield, and, the Nor and, um, and all of you guys. Gracias por el apoyo a CMAC, a la Fundación y Amigos de la Biblioteca Pública de Northfield, a la ciudad de Northfield, y por supuesto a ustedes. The Hispanic Heritage Celebration in Northfield Public Library began in 2018 as a way to highlight the many rich and diverse Hispanic cultures in our town. And we recognize the contributions made and the important presence of a Hispanic and Latino American to the United States. Tonight, hoy tenemos eh, el grupo ecuatoriano, Agüe Runacuna, and Leighton Wolpa. Wal Wal Wolpa? Okay, I did practice before, and here you go. Uh, <laughs> lo tenemos, es el director del grupo, y vamos a um, hablar un poquito con um, Leighton. Después de su baile, muchas gracias. Y aquí los dejo con el primer baile. Here is the first dance of um, Away Runacuna. Thanks. Fandango, a traditional indigenous rhythm from the Imba Buddha province of Ecuador. It is traditionally played by a string musical instrument, the harp, since the 18th century. As time passed by, additional instruments were incorporated to fandango, such as the violin, the mandolin, cajon drums, and the Andean reed flutes. There are three special occasions where fandango is played within Imba Buddha. First, the Wasipi Chime, which is the inauguration of a new constructed home for a family or community member through a welcoming celebration. The Sawarina, an indigenous wedding celebration honoring the newlyweds' marriage in various ceremonial practices with the presence of their godparents, close relatives, and community members. Lastly, the Wawawani, a moment of remembrance for the passing of an infant or youth in the wake ceremony, followed by a celebration organized by the godparents of the deceased to honor the child's time of presence in life. Pandango is not only determined by its musical features, but through the context of certain life events, which determines how Pandango will be expressed.
So the mission of Awe Runacuna is to learn, teach, and preserve the diverse traditions of Ecuador through the art of dance. And here's Leighton, el director del grupo, the director of the group Ecuadorian. Um, what Awe Runacuna means? Yes, hello. Just testing the sound. Well, my name is Leighton Walpanaula, and I'm the director of the Ecuadorian dance group called Aguarruna Cuna. And my, nom my nombre is Leighton Walpanaula, soy el director del grupo de danza ecuatoriana Aguarruna Cuna. The name of the group translates to weaving our identity in our indigenous language that is Quichua. El nombre del grupo significa tejiendo nuestra identidad en nuestro idioma indígena que es el Quichua. And, um, how long have the group been created? Um, how can people find information about the group if they want to participate or they want more information about the group? And I have another uh, question is if you can talk a little bit about the traditional attire of the Ecuadorian dance. Thanks. All right, so the group started in 2015 and it was um, founded in Minneapolis. 
and we've been going on for five years already. And so far, we have um, accomplished many projects within those years, and very grateful for all the support from the fans of Awaro Nakuna and you know our members and the members' family members as well. Eh, pues el grupo se nació en el año 2015 y ha cinco años que, que el grupo han aprovechado en uh, complet, completar los proyectos de danza y pues empezó en, en la ciudad de Minneapolis y de, doy gracias a, gracias a, los, a, a los seguidores del grupo Hawaii Runa Cuna y también a los miembros del grupo a, igual como a los padres de los miembros por todo el apoyo. Gracias. Okay, so our second son, we're going to have another dance. Uh, and before we go to that, I just want to invite everyone to uh, fill out our survey at the end of the presentation. There is a survey for everyone to fill out and help us uh, to, to know how we are doing. And besides, it's also a requirement for our grant. Uh, si por favor pueden llenar el formulario que se encuentra al final del video de la, de la presentación de hoy, nos va a ayudar grandísimamente para el apoyo de los um, de futuras becas para el evento. Um, oh, and I have one more thing that uh, Leighton is going to share. Thanks. I did forgot one question. <laughs> I need one of my members. Um, Blanca, can you come here quick? Okay. Me olvidé una pregunta que tenía, uh, dar una respuesta. Pues las vestimentas que tam, estamos puestos hoy son trajes de Otavalo. Y aquí yo tengo el pantalón blanco, la camisa blanca, está bordado por adentro de la camisa, y un poncho azul y un sombrero negro. Y pues así es el traje típico tradicional para el hombre. Y para la mujer viene con una blusa bordada, Tiene alguna faja, como nosotros llamamos la mama chumbi. Viene anaco, tiene dos piezas, uno que es el color primaria, el azul o también negro, y de adentro es blanco. Bien, también nosotros estamos puestos los alpargatas, que son los zapatos para los, a lo que es parte del traje tradicional. Y también viene las mujeres los joyares, los accesorios, manillas, aretes, collares. También del cabeza se llama una guatarina, que es de negro. Y últimamente es el, el sombrero. Y pues eso es el traje típico del octavalo. And for English, you know, the tr uh, traditional outfit for that we're wearing is octavalo, and that's mainly what we're presenting today. We have wore, we're wearing myself is uh, white pants, white shirt, um, embroidered inside, and a blue poncho and a hat. And for the girls, comes with a blouse embroidered, uh, a belt, what we call mama chumbi a two-piece skirt, which we call anacos. Outside is usually blue or black, and the inside is always white. We also have alpargatas, known as our shoes. And also for the girls, uh, there's also um, jewelry, such as earrings, necklace, um, bracelets. And then we got our traditional hat and a headpiece that's called uma guaterina for the girls. And then lastly, kind of like a, a scarf for the women that they wore outside. And that's pretty much our traditional outfit that we're wearing tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. All right. So you guys are ready for another dance. And um, yeah, thank you. San Juanito, a native musical genre of the Andes from Ecuador. The rhythm of San Juanito began its popularity at the beginning of the 20th century, while expanding to other Andean zones such as northern Peru and south of Colombia. San Juanito originated from Otavalo within the province of Imbabura. The rhythm is traditionally interpreted with native instruments of Ecuador, such as the mandolin, pilguyo, dulzaina, and rondador. As the rhythm grew more in popularity, other foreign instruments were incorporated showcasing different styles for the community to enjoy. For the indigenous communities, dancing the San Juanito has a meaning of unity, feeling, identity, and relationship with Mother Earth. For the mestizos, it is an expression of joy and national identity. 
The San Juanito has a unique repertoire for popular festivities as well as social gatherings throughout the country of Ecuador.
Muchas gracias por, nuevamente por acompañarnos hoy. Thanks for being here. And um, if I want to introduce all the group. Thanks for participating today with us and sharing the, your culture and our um, learn. We we'll learn a little bit about more about Ecuador and the traditional dance. Um, I'm going to hang out, uh, pass the, the microphone to Leighton. Thanks. All right. Thank you very much. Um, it's an honor to be here at Northfield. You know, it was quite a drive from Minneapolis, but it was all for the same common purpose is pres um, preserving our traditions through the art of dance. And we would like to do this not only just in our home city, Minneapolis, but all other places around Minnesota. And interesting. Un poquito más. Y, and pues, I want to thank uh, the, the Public Library of Northfield for inviting us um, and also for recognizing for the work that we do. And we really appreciate for all our supporters out there and, and helping us stay positive during these hard times. But you know, you know that's not going to stop us from learning where we come from and also sharing where we know to the entire community of Minnesota. Thank you very much again, and have a good rest of your evening. Gracias.